Bye, korang. Amboi, terus matamat ni. I would say at 7 a.m. flight. It's not here. We don't know where we're going to board the flight. It's the waiting game. Okay, guys, update. We got our flight and it's at 10 30. So we're going to Auckland first. So we're going to Auckland. 10.30 and we have to go out like I think it's kind of rushed right because we have to go to international port it's yeah. the international departure so if you guys know Auckland airport they separated domestic and also international so we probably have to rush to international because our flight is at 1 so we probably have to check in at 12 less than a 12 a.m. so we are gonna arrive around 11.30 11.45 so pray for us <laughs> yeah. we actually four of us yeah, four of us. And I just go at the back. So I share distance. Uh, you can see <laughs> their head on your face. So yeah. I see you guys remember in Auckland. So it's a separate video. So um, in Auckland, we arrived with Air New Zealand around 12 p.m. And our flight is at 1. So when we got to Auckland, we actually really rushed from domestic airport to international airport as you can see domestic and international airport is quite far I don't know if I can find a picture but if I do find a picture I show it here so yeah traveling from the domestic to the international airport we actually walk like running to the international airport and once we are there the Malaysia Airlines counter is already closed like legitly closed but we've missed our flight and then I we actually tried to stop the staff of the airport and yes we actually missed the flight and the counter already closed and we actually begged them to actually contact mass staff so that we can actually board the flight and alhamdulillah we managed to board the flight because the staff was so nice they called the mass staff and then the mass staff immediately checked us in and then rushed us we will be escorted for the first time ever we've been escorted from the departure hall to actually boarding the flight and we managed to catch the flight and to be honest after we arrived in malaysia we go through the thermal screening thingy got our check we a designated place to be brought to the quarantine place so my quarantine place as you can see here this is sunway velocity hotel i'm quite grateful that we actually got a very nice place to stay room tour is coming out after this video to be honest i don't record much that night that in the bus to the quarantine places i would give malaysia a very good thumbs up for the government for managing this covid 19 cases like legit they are the best kudos to malaysia governments and yeah we work they work really hard and i'm quite grateful to be one of malaysian i'm a proud malaysian actually basically that's what happened when i'm coming back here i actually talk in the bus but as you can see this you you can't hear me anything so re recording this and then say it here that's all my story of coming back to malaysia during covid 19 i'm now in quarantine you're gonna see more video of me because i'm super bored at the hotel guys there's nothing we can do we can't go out no delivery foods we just have to eat whatever they give us which is good that's all i will do don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up so that i can make more video in the future even after quarantine so that you get more content about me yeah see you guys see ya